All right guys, this is gonna be the first ride in the go-kart now with the torque converter. This is gonna be my first impressions. I'm not gonna talk much, I'm just gonna enjoy it and I'll tell you guys what it feels like afterwards. All right. Before I even go, I just gotta say right off the bat, from going from a stop to any kind of moving, definitely feels a lot smoother. I've got to say, this go-kart definitely feels a lot more fun to drive already. We're even just taking it around that first corner. I'm going to be taking it a little bit easier because I'm not sure if everything's tight enough, so we'll see. Wow, okay, what a difference. Um, I'm kind of speechless right now because honestly, when I was watching that video from uh, Cars and Cameras, 
where they put the torque converter on, they said it was night and day acceleration. They weren't lying. Um, not only is the acceleration so much better with the torque converter, the actual drivability of the go-kart completely changes as well. So just coming up the driveway at the very end, nice and slow, very controlled, unlike the old one with the centrifugal clutch where it was just bogging all the time. Um, I'm not giving it a 100% com fair comparison simply because that centrifugal clutch was prematurely engaging. Um, however, even compared to the old go-kart that I had, this is definitely a lot better and I gotta say, taking the turns and trying to drift the go-kart is just so much easier and so much more doable because you're always in the right power band. So the thing with these particular go-karts, uh, I mean these Predator engines, is that their torque curve is very very small. And so they only generate power at certain RPMs and not really much so in any other RPM. And so as a result of that, when you're using a centrifugal clutch, it makes it very hard to drift and to control those drifts. Whereas here with the torque converter, I really feel like I'm able to control the drift even when I'm in the turn. So now I really will get the chance to perfect my ability to do drifts because when you're in a car, obviously it's not as safe to do and, it's, and, and, and I never encouraged you to do it on a street. Whereas with a go-kart, it's sort of like a toy where I don't mind doing it at my dead end and uh, it'll definitely be a, a huge blast for me to be able to learn how to drift properly in this go-kart. So now what I'm going to do is just make sure that everything that I had tightened down didn't come loose. Make sure that it's safe before I really flog it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is that zero to top speed run, see how long that takes, which I am for sure... Uh, gonna bet that it will take much less than the 11 seconds that it took for the centrifugal clutch And I guarantee that the top speed will definitely be higher So stay tuned for that video when I do a direct comparison between the centrifugal clutch go-kart with the Predator Versus the torque averter with the Predator the, the, That's the only thing that I've changed um, between these two videos So thank you guys for watching make sure that you subscribe to stay tuned for the upcoming videos And I'll see you guys in the next one for more go-karting fun